Hi everybody, it's me, Grandma Lily, and it's time for Story Time with Grandma Lily. So I hope you're having a great day today, and I hope you got to get out, go outside and get some fresh air, and play some games, and maybe talk to a friend. I don't know, some of you may have grandmas and grandpas. Sometimes you call them grandma, sometimes you call them nana, sometimes you call them Grammy. Um, I, my grandchildren, call me Grandma Lily. That's where the name came from. They call me Grandma Lily. So I bet you, some of you get to go and stay with your grandmas and grandpas sometimes. And most of the time, that can be fun, right? But sometimes, sometimes you can just push grandmas a little bit too far. So yesterday when I was talking to my grandson, Elijah, I said to him, I'll talk to you soon. Grandma Lily loves you. And he said, then stop being mean. So clearly, Elijah thinks that Grandma Lily is mean. Fast forward, I talked to him again 20 minutes later and he was blowing me kisses on the FaceTime, so don't even worry about it. Anyway, I thought that this would be a good day to give a story especially for Elijah, my baby, my little baby, my Chi-Chi that I love so much. And the name of the book that I'm going to read today is Grandma Gets Grumpy. And it's by Anna Grossnickel Hines. And I know none of your grandmas and grandpas ever get grumpy. So this is gonna be a story about a grandma. I don't know, does she get grumpy? Maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. Let's find out. If you talk to my kids, they'll tell you I've always been grumpy. So this is Grandma Gets Grumpy. So I'm guessing that this lady dedicated this book to all of Grandma's grandchildren. So before we start, I'm gonna say hello to my babies, Jordan and Elijah and Kylie, and my teenage, my teenage granddaughter, Serenity. And I am also going to tell you all that um, to get your blankets and get your cookies and milk, and that this book, which by the way is from, oh my goodness, I can't see where it's from, when it's from. Um, 1988. It is from 1988, which is from, which is the year before my oldest son was born. So this is for Michelle, Casey, Lassen, Brian, Kelly, Kevin, Andy, Paul, Heather, and Laura, and their grandma Ruth, who only gets grumpy when it's absolutely necessary. And I'm also going to dedicate this story to my babies because I only get grumpy when it's absolutely necessary. Every time we go to my grandma's house, we stay all night. Mama and Papa sleep on the sofa bed in the living room. I sleep in my sleeping bag on the floor in grandma's room. Now, don't snore, Lassen, grandma says. I don't snore, you snore, I say, but we're just teasing each other. My babies have a, a mattress, a big blow up mattress that they have in their own room. At least they think it's their room. Grandma plays go fish with me and tickles me with her silly goose puppet. Papa says, sofas are for sitting on. Mama says, stop running in the house. Grandma gives me hugs and says, she just has lots of energy. Don't you lassen? Grandma has a box of toys and a whole drawer full of old clothes for playing dress up. She likes kids. Mama said, time to clean up. Papa says, get ready for bed and brush your teeth. Grandma reads me stories and gives me ice cream. I like to stay all night with grandma. The last time we visited grandma, mama and papa went to a party at Aunt Sue and Uncle Jim's house. Grandma said they had to sleep over there because all my cousins were coming to stay with Grandma and me. Yippee, I said. Not so loud, Lassen, said Papa. Are you sure you want to do this, Mom? Mama asked. Oh, don't worry, Grandma said. We'll get along fine, won't we, Lassen? Aunt Sue brought Brian and Kevin. Here they are, Mom. She said, are you sure you want to do this? 
We'll be fine, won't we, boys, Grandma said. She winked at us. Uncle Joe and Aunt Sherry brought Casey and Michelle. Brian and Kevin and Casey and Michelle and I all hugged each other and yelled, Hooray! Hooray! Quiet down, Uncle Joe said. Be good, said Mama. Do what Grandma tells you, said Aunt Sue. All those kids, they're all going to play and stay with Grandma. Wonder what they're going to do. Are you sure you can handle all five of them, Mom? Asked Uncle Joe. Sure, Grandma said. You go on and have a good time. We'll be fine. Grandma shooed all the grown-ups out and closed the door behind them. She made hot dogs, macaroni and cheese, and green beans for dinner. We like hot dogs, macaroni and cheese, and green beans. Then Brian and Casey and I played Chinese checkers. Kevin and Michelle made a tower of blocks. We made a bigger one. They both crashed. We made a tower of kids. Kevin got squished because he's too little. He started crying. Be careful, Grandma said. We zoomed the cars under the sofa. We zoomed ourselves on top of the sofa. Settle down, Grandma said. Someone might get hurt. Wee! Casey tried one more zoom. Grandma looked at him. She wasn't smiling. We settled down. We made roads for the cars. We made them go all over the house. Grandma doesn't care if we make a big mess. She likes kids. I put on a beautiful dress to be a princess. Brian was the dad. Casey was the fireman. Michelle got run over by the fireman. I was the doctor and fixed her up. We made a hospital with all the blankets and chairs and pillows. Casey was the ambulance man. Brian was the nurse. Michelle and Kevin were the patients, but they wanted to be doctors too. Grandma looks sick, I said. I think she needs to go to the hospital. We took very good care of Grandma. Michelle got in Grandma's lap. Hey, you and your big yours. Then Kevin yours. Hey, Grandma yours. Oh, I think it's time to clean up, she said. But we're not done playing yet, we said. You can play again tomorrow, said Grandma. How about cleaning this up and then reading some stories? We wanted stories. But that mess was big. It was too big to clean up. It's a big mess. Let's have stories first and then clean up, I said. Yes, 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 said the other kids. No, Grandma said. The mess gets picked up first. I sat down on the floor for just one little minute. Lazen's not helping, Brian said. I picked up a car. I am too helping, I said. Good, Grandma said. We need everyone's help. I was getting a big blanket. Casey was getting it too. We fell down on top of each other. Casey and I made a ghost together under the blanket and scared Kevin. Kevin jumped on the sofa. The ghost jumped on the sofa too. Brian climbed on the sofa to save his brother. Ooh, said the ghost. Ooh. Kevin squealed. Get back, you old ghost, yelled Brian. Kevin accidentally kicked Michelle. She screamed. Don't hurt my sister, Casey yelled at Kevin. Brian pushed Casey. You leave my little brother alone. Casey bumped into me. I bumped into the lamp. Stop, Grandma shouted. We didn't know she could shout. That is too dangerous and too noisy, and that sofa is for sitting on, not jumping on. We sat on the sofa. Grandma picked up her lamp. Grandma's getting grumpy, Casey whispered. She sounds just like my mom, I whispered back. Mine too, Brian said. And my dad, said Casey. Uh-oh. You bet I do, Grandma said. We didn't know she had such good ears. That's because I taught Lassen's mom and Brian's mom and Casey's dad everything they know about being grumpy. And I'm older, so I've had more practice. Grandma sat in the chair. 
we, she looked at us. We looked at her. What are you going to do now, Casey said. I'm going to wait, said Grandma. Grandma waited. We waited too. What are you waiting for, Brian asked. I don't know, Grandma said. We didn't know either. We all waited some more. Waiting was boring. I got up and put away the blanket. Casey put the pillows back on the sofa. Brian and Kevin picked up the dress-up clothes. Michelle picked up the cars. Grandma helped. Casey looked at Brian and they grinned. Brian looked at me and I started to giggle. I looked at Kevin and Michelle and they laughed. Michelle looked at Grandma. Grandma laughed too. All of us were laughing and putting things away. Grandma wasn't grumpy anymore. Pretty soon that big mess was all cleaned up and we were eating ice cream. Now it's time to brush your teeth and get into your pajamas, Grandma said. Oh no, Casey said. We aren't tired, I started to say, but Grandma's eyebrows went up. We got our toothbrushes. Watch this, I said. I squeezed a toothpaste smile on the mirror. Oh yeah, said Casey, make the eyes. Brian shook his head and pointed to the doorway. Grandma did not look happy. I cleaned off the smile very, very carefully. We all got our pajamas on while Grandma changed the sofa into a bed. We climbed in and Grandma read three stories. Then she tucked us in and the silly goose puppet gave us kisses. Good night, you rascals, Grandma said. Grandma really does like kids and we like Grandma. There you go, kids. Grandma gets grumpy, but she doesn't stay that way for long. And here's a lesson for you. Sometimes when mommy, daddy, grandma, or somebody else gets grumpy, it's because somebody's about to get hurt or something's about to be broken. So when someone tells you to settle down or to listen, give them a listen and see what, what they mean. Okay? But anyway, Elijah, this one was for you. I love you, Chi-Chi. And I will see you soon. You guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow with another episode of Storytime with Grandma Lily. Bye-bye.